The Five Power Defense Arrangements, or FPDA, was set up on 1st November 1971 by Australia, Malaysia, New Zealand, Singapore and the United Kingdom as a pact with the remit to provide external defense from Malaysia and Singapore when Britain withdrew its military forces east of Suez. The five nations pledged to consult each other on the appropriate response in the event of armed aggression against Singapore or Malaysia. On 1st September 1971, Headquarters Integrated Air Defense System, or HQI ADS, was formed in Butterworth, Malaysia. It was later renamed in 2000 to Headquarters Integrated Area Defense System to reflect the shift in focus to joint exercises among the FPDA military forces. The renaming came out of a big policy change to uh, develop a model that would take uh, FPDA forward from being very focused uh, on the air defence environment to exercises that were more broadly based. During the 10th FPDA Defence Ministers' meeting, all five Defence Ministers agreed that the FPDA would enhance its capacity in non-conventional areas in view of the changing security landscape. At the same time, conventional elements would remain as the mainstay of the FPDA. Today, in its fifth decade, the FPDA continues to strengthen cooperation among the member militaries through various exercises. These provide opportunities for member nations to exercise with one another and aim to provide professional value as well as build capabilities. The FPD exercises provide valuable opportunities for our forces to sharpen our conventional competencies in high-end multi-dimensional warfare missions, as well as in non-conventional areas such as counter-terrorism. The value of the Superman Predator the Malaysian Air Forces is to enhance FPDA understanding and interoperability in the joint military appreciation process. The FPDA works hard to maintain continued relevance in today's security environment. It has evolved over the past decade to build capacity in non-conventional areas to deal with emerging security challenges. These include maritime security, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, and counter-terrorism. Today, we celebrate 50 years of cooperation and exchange that has led to a brighter future for our countries and for the Indo-Pacific region. We've got experience, understanding, respect, cultural appreciation and growing interoperability. Fantastic bases from which to move forward confidently into the future and deal with whatever security challenge arises. In addition to exercises, regular professional seminars and forums have been held to provide opportunities to officers of all member nations to interact and exchange views in areas of professional interest. I've had over 40 years of engagement with FPDA and operating alongside the Five Power Defence Arrangement Nations through training, through exercises, uh, through conferences has been really important at uh, developing key working relations. Through these activities, the FPDA has strengthened people-to-people -people ties among the five militaries and defence establishments. FPDA is that framework that binds us together um, in, in those exercises and provides the opportunity 
to build relationships and build capabilities and train in the most realistic um, environment we can. 50 years of working together. It's built trust between nations involved. The FPDA has taken steps to reassure regional neighbours that it is a defensive, transparent and peaceful security arrangement by inviting ASEAN observers for FPDA exercises since 2007. I recognise the importance of confident building measures and fully support the idea of non-FPDA regional neighbours being invited as observers to exchange ideas and share information on planning and conduct of FPDA activities and exercises. As we commemorate 50 years of the FPDA, it continues to be a pillar of our regional security architecture and importantly, enables rank and file from FPDA nations to come together, to work side by side together, to deal collectively with the security challenges of the day. The FPDA has developed a robust consultative structure over the years at the military, official and leadership levels. This is complemented by a standing multilateral military component at HQ IADS and a comprehensive exercise program. FPDA is all about enriching and sustaining partnership, relations and professionalism between the member nations forces and I hope this spirit of mutual cooperation and trust will continue in the future. Even with the many disruptions brought about by the COVID pandemic, we have maintained links and exchanges through innovative means. This is testament to member nations' enduring commitment to the FPDA, the strength of our relationships, as well as the adaptability of the arrangement. remains a strategically important part of the regional security architecture so that Singapore, Malaysia and the wider region can enjoy peace, security and economic progress. For the next decade, the FPDA will continue to be guided by the three R's principles to emphasize high-end conventional warfighting elements as the mainstay of FPDA exercises to build the FPDA's capacity in non-conventional areas and to evolve the role of HQI ads into a training headquarters. Underpinned by strong political commitment, the FPDA looks forward to another strong decade of growth and cooperation. <laughs>